Ah, what's up with your Earthling's obsession with making me their second home? Ah, uh, can we not talk about it? Dude, you never want to talk about this. All right, man, you really want to know? My Earthlings want to colonize you. What's that supposed to mean? Some of them think Mars could be their future. We're kind of similar. Gravity, water in some form, an atmosphere, even if they can't breathe your air. Huh. I guess I get that. They can be a bit annoying, but if I really am the best option they have... If you were their best option, Astro Dude over here wouldn't need a closed-off environment to be on your surface. Your temperature is deadly, your air is poison, and you're not hospitable to plants or animals. They've been talking about terraforming you, but yeah, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. I don't get it. Why don't they stay on you then? <sighs> Guess dreaming about you is easier than dealing with what they're doing to me. Ah, uh, jeez, man. I'm sorry. This got deep. Um, you wanna keep playing cards? Hey there, little guy. You came from Earth, right? Oh god, okay. Uh, keep yourself together. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm from Earth. Cool, me too. Though, he really makes me feel like I don't matter sometimes. Maybe he doesn't know how important you are? You know what? I, I think you're right. I, I should go and orbit another planet to show him. Hey, thanks, Earthling. You hear that, Earth? I'm leaving! Wait, did I just end the world? Hey, Earth's moon. Hey, Mars. Can I orbit you for now? Huh, well, if Earth doesn't mind. Trust me, he doesn't. All right, then. Go over there where Phobos and Deimos are orbiting. Aren't you asteroids? No, we're moons! I'm Phobos! And I'm Deimos! Can you help us be like you? Uh, sure. How? Maybe you can crash into Mars! And we can use the space debris to grow bigger! Yes! Bigger! <laughs> okay, the moons of Mars are freaking weird. Oh. Moon! Where the heck were you? I'm off my axis and my tides are all out of whack! Get back in orbit, now! I guess he learned his lesson. Huh? Huh? Hey, uh, Earth's moon? Come here one sec. Why in the universe is Venus, uh, you know, playing made to Earth? Yeah, that. Well, I couldn't hear the conversation since it happened during the day, but I heard something about Venus's name and true meaning? And that's embarrassing enough for Venus to play Earth's servant? Yeah, I think Earth is blackmailing Venus to keep the secret. Oh, now I really want to know. But I guess neither of them will tell us. Hmm. Hello, Hello Astro! Planets? Hey, so you being such a scholar of space stuff, do you know what Venus's name means? Is, is, is this like a, a, a threat? No! Yes. Wait, what? You are named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty? What? <laughs> um, but, but, hey, it wasn't me. Astro -Dio! It's ironic though, right? I mean, you, a giant ball of acid rain and volcanoes, being named after Venus, the Roman goddess of beauty? I mean, that's it, you little... <sighs> okay, I'm sick of this. I'm not gonna keep listening to you guys telling me that I'm not good enough. Oh, come on, man. I, I didn't mean it like that. Hey, Uranus! The other planets won't leave me alone about this beauty thing. You know what I could do to shut them up? Pfft. Rings, of course. Every pretty planet has rings. Well, that sucks. They're made of, like, gravity-crushed space debris, right? I'm not strong enough for that. Maybe I can ask Saturn for one. Hey, I have rings too, you know. Hello? Hey, Saturn, you're pretty, and, uh, I would like to borrow a ring, please. Oh. 
You want to improve your looks a little, goddess of beauty? <laughs> yes, please. Well, if you ask so nicely... Ah! Stop it, you idiot! Why are you so mean to me? Hey, for a goddess of love, you're pretty harsh. Not very beautiful behavior, my lady. Enough! You got a problem with the Earthlings naming me after some stupid ancient goddess? Well, keep talking and you'll get a makeover! Yeah! I thought so! Ah! Oh, oh, my insides are... Oh, uh, uh, I think I'm gonna explode! I'm sorry, dear friend, but that sounds too dangerous to me! You explode thousands of times every single second right next to me and you won't... Ah! Wait a second... I know what this is. Uh, calm down, guys. He's not exploding. Dude, how do you know? Because I've been there. Relax, Mercury. You're just going through tectonic activity. Tectonic what now? It just means that your core is active and your surface is shifting and crashing. I actually thought I was the only one around here who did that. So, am I really okay? Yeah, no worries, man. Just hurts a little sometimes. If the Earthlings can survive living through all those earthquakes and floods, can't be that bad, right? Oh, wow, that's a relief. Although, side effects may include a contracting crust, so you may become even smaller. Maybe you'll be Pluto 2.0. Ha 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 ha. That's not funny, Earth. Earth? Earth? Your son misses you a lot, you know. Oh, really? Did he say that? Well, he's playing with his toy rockets, so he must miss his father. He was doing that before I left. Oh. So, how's living in space like? It must be so awesome. It's, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Oh, come on, don't be so reserved. Okay, uh, oh, uh, I'm working out, a lot. Really? You aiming for a Dwayne the Ball Johnson body? Uh, it's, it's not that. Uh, okay, so in a weightless environment, our muscles basically say, hey, we don't need all this extra tissue, let's all shrink. <laughs> Muscles talk now? What's next? Planets? <laughs> <laughs> ha Yeah, uh... Good one. <laughs> I mean, my point is that it's mandatory for us to work out. Otherwise, when I return home, I'll be like a deflated basketball. What about your bones? Same thing. If we don't work out in space, we lose around 1% of our bone density every month. So, yeah, I could also potentially break my bones when I return. Wow. Well... You better take good care of that body of yours, because, you know. Ah, uh -huh. honey, are you saying what I think you're- what? Houston, are you kidding me? <laughs> Sir, he knows you're listening. Oh, don't be ridiculous. My name's not Houston. Who cares if there's sound on Mars or not? Sir, if humanity plans on moving to Mars in the future, we need to know these kinds of things, right? Astro dude, you're asking for a billion dollar mission just to send you a piano. Can't you go and whistle outside? Sir? Last time I did one of your ideas, I almost died. Hey, we sent a robot to save you. Sir, didn't you say last time that science is based on experiments, not studies? <sighs> Give him what he wants. This literally cost me one year's worth of my salary. So you better give me results. Wait, your yearly salary is a billion dollars? Up, 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 less talking, more science. All right, here I go. Huh, turns out high-pitched sounds are almost imperceptible, probably because of the atmosphere and cold temperatures. So Google was right. Wait, that's it? You made me send you a piano to Mars just for the- oh, he Hello? Astro dude? Oh, hey, honey. Hey, I know I shouldn't be giving you a hint here, but you haven't forgotten what did. Oh my god! How- Where did you-
think it's gonna be a long, long time Till touchdown brings me round again to find I'm not the man they think I am at home Oh no, no, no I'm a rocket man Rocket man Burning out his fuse up here alone Happy anniversary, honey. Hey! Watch your step, Mercury! Um, uh, you, you just rammed into me. Because I couldn't see you, you little pipsqueak. How big are you anyways? You sure you're not an asteroid or something? Hey! I'm a planet and you know it! Well, between you and me, Pluto thought he was one too. And look how that turned out. <laughs> Jupiter! Please tell me I'm a planet! Whoa, calm down there, little guy. Did the Earthlings make up some new rules? No, no, it's just Venus is saying I'm barely a planet, that I'm like Pluto, that I'm small, and I'm- Don't worry, really. You're nothing like Pluto. But how can you be sure? I'm not that much bigger. Size isn't the only thing that makes you a planet. If you have a steady orbit that isn't full of huge space debris you can't clear, you're fine. So, I am a planet, either way? Of course you are, my tiny planetoid friend. Besides, you're still bigger than Pluto, right? Yeah, yeah, right, thanks. I mean, of course I'm bigger than Pluto. I mean, why wouldn't I be? I'll always be bigger. Oh, I'm Mercury, baby. I'm the best. I'm oh, wait, I forgot to tell him he's shrinking. Hey, hey, Mercury. Shh, 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 shh. Let him have this. 